guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be episode two of the Legacy Challenge, which we started yesterday. So not much has changed since the last episode, other than I added a new Sim, who actually, very conveniently, is currently walking past our lot. So this is Freddie Douglas, and he is a potential suitor, probably her boyfriend slash husband later on in the challenge. So here he is. Uh, I can't remember what all of his traits are, but I remember that one of them is loves outdoors and one of them is foodie. So we're gonna have to get to know him. I think maybe we'll just do that straight away. A lot still looks just like this. Um, but yeah, can we, can we click on him? I think we're just gonna go and uh, let's have a funny introduction. So I wonder if they'll get along. <laughs> Look how, oh, I thought she was taller than him then. Okay, they're talking. Well, he seemed to like that introduction. We're gonna share some ideas. He's feeling fine, let's brighten his day. I'd also really like to um, make ourselves a little house this episode. I think we should be able to, we've got 2,000. Um, before this episode started, I literally just harvested these and that's where we got the rest of our money from. Uh, what else can we say to him? Maybe give him a heartfelt compliment. Be like, I really like your top, it, it really suits you. Uh, enthused about dogs. I'm pretty sure his aspiration is the one about animals, so I'm sure he'll like that. Um, ask him about his day. Imagine if making friends in real life was as easy as it is to make friends in The Sims. You just walk up to them and you're like best friends. Let's tell him a dramatic story. We can tell him a really dramatic story about how we were just born into the world with no money whatsoever and we just live in a plot. Okay, well, he has to go, but we'll, we'll maybe we'll see him later. He's in our, um, uh, socials tab at least now so we can get hold of him if we want to maybe we should just quickly dig up a few things and then get started on our little house see if we have anything to sell in here no okay well we'll just dig that and then we will go into build and buy mode and see if we can make ourselves a little hut <laughs> go 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 okay well she got a capsule hopefully it's one of those uh, my sims trophies and we can carry on adding to our it is carry on adding to our collection that's 25 let's see how many of those we've got quite a few frogs got quite a few we've got 11 out of 20 so that's not too bad anyways right let's see okay well we i'll get rid of this little wall and we shall see what we can make Let's just move all of these things out of the way so we can do a little, make a little box, see how big of a box we can make. Okay, we can make quite a big box, but it's gonna cost us quite a bit of money. So let's just try and make a little bathroom first. A little toilet and a shower. Oh, let's put the toilet here. Hello. There we go. A shower. Um, we don't have a sink just yet, but that's all right. We're also gonna obviously need a door. So what's the cheapest door we can get? This is 50, this is also 50. They're 90, so we'll get this one here. We'll maybe make it white, because that's gonna be indoors. Um, and then if we just like add a little bit out, maybe we can fit our bed in there and our fridge yeah and our little fridge we don't really need our easel inside so we'll keep that outside and we'll just put our little bin can we do bb dot move objects there we go and we'll just put our little bin there perfect okay and our microphone can't forget our microphone I'll just pop that inside. I think she can still use that. Perfect. And also, while I'm at it, I'm just going to move these, but I'll speed this bit up so you don't have to watch me organise these. Okay, so here is our little hut. 
I think it looks super cute actually. I think we did a pretty good job considering we only had 2,000 to do this with. We have all our little crops, you know, laid out. These little plowed lines. I thought that was a cute little touch. We even have a window. We're going up in the world. We have a window. That's great. Um, and then our little hut. And then on the inside, just our bed, a little toilet, and our fridge is just there. It's very, very basic, but it's a lot better than having nothing at all. Um, so it's 9pm already, so I think we're just going to head off to sleep. And then in the morning, we will go adventuring some more places. Maybe we can go um, to the museum or to the library or something, just to see if we can meet anyone. But yeah, we're gonna just go to sleep. If we don't need anything else, nope, we'll go to sleep. And then in the morning, we will do that. All right, so she's awake. She's super uncomfortable because of her bed and she's eaten too many quick meals. <laughs> uh, right, let us, we can't cook anything because we don't have a counter. Do we have enough to get a counter? She's gonna have to eat another quick meal. She's gonna have to put up with it for now. Um, can we harvest? Oh, we can harvest these again. We can definitely have a counter. <laughs> right, so she's just going to eat that really quick. Um, and then harvest all of her crops to sell. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Quick as she can. Right, there we go. So now she's harvested all of those. We might also be able to get a bed that isn't so uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, we've got quite a bit of money actually I'm quite proud of us <laughs> oh my no three thousand two hundred for those god I love being a farmer <laughs> three thousand two hundred we have five thousand five thousand from those snapdragons I need to check the rules. This sounds like just, this just sounds wrong. <laughs> All right, so there's nothing that says we can't be a farmer. So there you go. I think we're gonna go find some roses as well today because they bring in a lot of money. And if we got 5,000 just from that lot of crops, we're gonna be balling. We're gonna have a lot of money. So on that note, my cat just sneezed. <laughs> um, on that note, we are going to go traveling actually maybe we could travel with freddie douglas we can get this show on the road a lot quicker obviously the whole point in this challenge is to um create a legacy for your sim so if we can get that going quickly why not let's do it right where should we go um maybe we should go to um, the library I mean it's a bit of a boring day but <laughs> it's the daytime it's the middle of the day so where can you go in the middle of the day I think also um before next episode I'm gonna add a load of different lots to new crests so there's more things to do right so okay let's say hello to him um let's let's just get to know him a bit uh yeah, let's find out what his final trait is. So he loves outdoors. We already knew that. What else? Um, ah, they just hugged. Cute. She wants to buy a TV. Well, no. Um, what else can we do? I don't think he has a career, but we're going to ask him about his career. Just get to know him. Ask him about his day. Um discuss interests can we get to know him again no well we'll share it is don't run away from him where are you going what is she doing use the port what portable computer where did she get that excuse me where did she get that <laughs> i i'm a bit confused i mean fair enough but i don't know where you got that from can they at least sit together? Like, don't just run off and go on the laptop. Like, what are you doing? Where is he? Sit together, finish with that. What's she doing? Okay, right, he's over. So, uh, brighten his day, heartfelt compliment. Where is that heartfelt compliment? 
Oh my god, they can already ask to move in household. That They're moving a bit quick. And then after she's done that, we're just going to take this opportunity to dig up these things over here. Uh, because as I said, we're trying to get those collections going because you get extra points for collections. And also, I never really like complete things in this game. I kind of just play it like making families and like creating sims. I never actually do like the in-game challenges and stuff. So making some collections could be fun. And also completing her aspiration, which is the successful lineage. So we are going to need to have some kids <laughs> to complete that. I'd also really like to get a dog, but I think um, the best way to do that is just to go to um, Brindleton Bay and um, just adopt a stray because they're there anyway, so you might as well get them. Same motto in real life. Adopt, don't shop. I'm just going to speed through those. Again, if anyone knows how to fix this whole like camera not following her bug, please do let me know because it's really annoying. I mean, they seem to be getting along, right? Oh, she's just ignored him. We love that. She needs a toilet. Oh no. It's not good. She found a time capsule. Uh, what else? She finds some common upgrade parts. I mean, they can come in handy for like upgrading household items and things, but I think it's probably best just to sell everything she gets here. She needs a toilet, so we will find a toilet in here and make her use it. Because otherwise, we are going to have a very embarrassed sim. Okay, so use that toilet. Is there anything else you need to do? Maybe we should get her to have a job because we have got a little bit of money and we've got a bit of a house. She isn't going to be completely miserable every time she comes back from work. So if you find a job, what could she be? Maybe we should get a part-time job. That could be an idea. I don't know if they have to have a, a job or not. Okay, right, let's just get her a job. So... I'm, I don't know whether to get her a part-time job or a full-time job. Obviously, it's not going to bring in as much money if she's only part-time, so maybe we should go with a full-time job. What is a job that I'd like to complete all of? Um, hmm. I mean, nothing really links to her um, aspiration because her aspiration is successful lineage, so that's not really, like, that important. Maybe she could be... What brings in the most? Well, I know doesn't Tech Guru bring in the most? I don't, I don't really want to worry about what brings in the most. She could maybe be a painter. She could be an astronaut. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, I'm leaning towards painter or writer. Let's go with painter. Because I do English letter school and I don't want to think about writing. So she's going to be a painter. So obviously her task is she needs to create paintings. Actually, that works well because we already have an easel at home. So we can go with that. Uh, let us talk to Freddy a bit more if he's still here. Please don't tell me he went home without saying bye. Did he go home without us? Fine. Um. Okay. Unless we can like... Oh, wait. Is that him? No. <laughs> Wow, he just left. We love that. Let's go home ourselves then. Hopefully there'll be some kind of festival going on in the city and then we can invite him to that. I know GeekCon was on last episode, wasn't it? But it's too late for that. We'll go home and we will complete our task to get promotion. And then maybe we could invite Freddy on a date because I kind of do want them to like be a thing. Let's create paintings and then we will invite Freddy out on a date. No, don't go there. Classic painting. Let's just do a large painting. We've got enough money to. How about... No, we'll ask Freddy out, out on a date today and then tomorrow will be just purely skills. We'll try and get all of our skills up. We'll build a bit of a bigger kitchen. And yeah, okay, so don't eat that. I mean, I guess you should eat. No, you're fine. Uh, right, have a shower because you're getting moody. Who's that? Eric Lewis. Right. No, we don't have time for you. No, we don't have time for you either. We're going on a date. Uh, ooh, well, can we not go on a date yet? We can't go on a date, but we can plan a social event. No, that's at home, isn't it? Let's just invite him to hang out. And then we can kind of get our romance up a little bit. And then invite him out on a date tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. We'll also sell this to a collector. 
great, he's gonna be right over to our little, our little hut. <laughs> Let's see what else we need to do. Okay, we've done that 50%. Right, he's here. Let's just ask him about his day again, even though we literally know what he's been doing today because we've been with him all day. Why is she getting into talk to the poor man? Discuss interests, tell an engaging story. Let's flirt with him. Let's ask him if he's single. Are you single? Yeah. Okay. Well, we knew he was single, but he's single. Let's um, flirt with him a little bit. What could she be saying to him? I like how he's got a little bit of a mullet. <laughs> bit interesting. Probably wouldn't be my first choice of hairstyle, but sure. Oh, he likes it. Compliment his appearance. Be like, I like the mullet. I like the mullet, dude. Um, Get to know him some more. Kind of dot in some friendly and some romantic things. What about a little, he's a goofball. That's the other one. So he loves outdoors. He's a foodie and a goofball, I think. Um. What else can we do? Oh, they're embarrassed. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, well, we're just gonna make a self depreciating joke. <laughs> what, no, he doesn't like us? Why? Why? Right. Okay, things are getting back to normal. So she's just gonna go back to sleep. I think to be honest, she's probably not gonna, it's not gonna go very well. The interactions aren't gonna go very well because she's tired. So in the morning, maybe, I don't think we've actually got any romantic bar. We don't, we really do need that. It's like half 11 though. Okay, she's just gonna go to sleep. We're not gonna worry about it. Things aren't gonna go well. He's just gonna wait outside our house for hours on end. Oh, I don't know. They need to talk. They need to talk. They can't just leave it on that note. She's just in her pajamas. Let us discuss interests some more. Uh, and do about dogs because we know he likes dogs. Um, rave about favorite singers. Share personal life goals. Why don't we have like a deep conversation? Is that an option? Not yet. And do about the outdoors because they both like the outdoors. He likes that. Oh, wait, okay, they've got a sentiment. So, hopefully things will go well. Don't go back to sleep. Why don't you give him a hug? Cute. She really needs to sort out this rubbish that's just all over her floor. It's getting really cramped in here. We need to do some more flirting. Oh, I'm, I don't know if it's gonna go very well. Well, they like that. She keeps going to sleep, but I just want the romance bar to go up a little bit so then she can ask him on a date tomorrow. Um, compliment appearance, flirt a bit more. Okay, he likes it, he likes it. Uh, how about we blow a kiss? Look deeply into his eyes. Just stare at him, that'll work. Make a move, make a move. No. Oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, let's just, let's just send him home. Uh, <laughs> that didn't go too well, did it? Right, go to sleep, just go to sleep. It's four in the morning. Maybe that's why. It's four in the morning. <laughs> right, maybe we'll just wait for him to make the next move. So if he messages us or rings us to go somewhere, we'll do that then because it's clearly not working very well right now. Right, work starts in about an hour as well. Um, so she should probably go to work. She's gonna go to work. She needs a toilet, but I think they resolved that at work. Okay, so this is super embarrassing, but my recording on OBS cut out, so you've missed a little bit, but not too much. Nothing I can't get you guys caught up on. Basically, after that embarrassing moment um, with Freddie, we decided to go out to the whatever the festival this is. I don't know what this is called. We went out to the festival um, and bought a t-shirt with our friends. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so you didn't miss out on too much, but it's a bit annoying that my OBS cut out. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Um, that must have been me somehow, but here we go anyways. Right, so she's just about done. Um, the event is just about over. So we're gonna go home straight after that and go to bed. 
And then in the morning, hopefully we're gonna be able to wake up before work, she is so tired. But hopefully we can wake up before work and finish the paintings that we need to do and maybe we can get a promotion. Oh wait, she has work in three days. Yeah, we can definitely. We can definitely do all of the uh, daily tasks and everything. Hopefully we'll meet Freddy again. <laughs> if not, we're gonna have to move on and find someone else because as I said, the whole point in this legacy challenge is that you meet a spouse and have kids and do that over 10 generations. So we kind of need to get started and meet somebody um, as soon as possible, really. So we will do that. But yeah, so the thing is over. So let's go home. 10 past one in the morning. So probably about time she goes home. Yeah, we did the spicy curry challenge and she failed it, obviously, because she's never had spicy foods before. And the bubble thing. I've never seen those before, but like the, the bubble thing, whatever that is. So it was quite eventful. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, oops. <sighs> Typical. But there you go. All right. So we're back home. So we're gonna just quickly go to the toilet and then go to bed and then tomorrow we will kind of get our skills up uh, Like I said also look at all of these things. We need to weed these um, And spray them for bugs and things to make sure they keep going good because that's like our main source of income at the moment All right, she also really needs a toilet. Okay, go to the toilet first and then go to bed also Once we have all of these we should have enough to kind of like refurbish our home a little so that's good. We have more than the original starting amount would have been anyways because the original starting amount for a non-extreme start legacy challenge is 1,800. So we have done pretty well for ourselves. It's also kind of convenient that there's this little rock to dig from like right outside of our house. Oh, we have some more things to sell in there as well. Wake up, it's like half past one. <laughs> Jesus woman. Right, so she's super bored and she's super hungry. So she's gonna do that and then she's gonna practice singing to get her fun up a little. And then go outside. Oh, she's just gonna practice that, fair enough. Uh, we will weed all of these. Water all. Weed. Weed. And spray for bugs. Is there another one that needed spraying for bugs? Or is it just that one? I think it was just that one. Okay, these ones also need weeding. Uh-oh, we probably should have kept up on these. Right. We'll just do all of that. She's super hungry as well and super bored. But she's singing level three, so that's not too bad. I think you get points for like um, every skill that you max out. So maybe we can max out the painting, uh, maybe the gardening skill. No, she can't come over. We're having a skills day. If she maxes out the painting, the gardening and the singing skill, that would be great. We can get three points for that, I think. I think it's three points. Right, her fun is up enough. So let's go and weed all of these plants. All right, so I don't think we actually needed to press all of those, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine, she's gonna water them all now. Also, maybe we should find some roses to plant. I think there was like a rose bush somewhere over here. What is this? A wild pear tree. We can have some pears too, but I specifically wanted to find those roses. Wild lilies. Um, those roses? No, they're lilies as well. They're strawberries. Um, they're snapdragons? Yeah. Um, where are the roses? I swear there were some roses nearby. They're lilies as well, aren't they? Onions. It's so dark already. It's because she woke up at one. She's gonna have to go back to sleep. Oh my goodness, she needs to take out the rubbish, right? She can go to sleep and we can sort out this house. Let's give it a bit of a refurbish because that would be a lot, a lot better. Let's refurbish the house because it's very small. I know we already did this in this episode, but it's teeny weeny, so we need to, we need to sort it out a little bit, right? I don't want to bulldoze. I want to put all of these things in our inventory. Is there a is there a button we can do to place an inventory? Let me figure that out really quick. All right, so it's the backspace button. So all we need to do is press uh, backspace. Let me move my keyboard over a little bit and then we can add all of these things to the household inventory. I wonder how much they sell for. They sell for 70, that's not too bad. We can make a lot more just off of the crops. 
let's quickly make it afternoon. All right, I think actually maybe the best idea is just to bulldoze the lot. Um, just sell everything. And then that way we can see how much money we've got to work with. So we have, we have a lot of, okay, we can sell off these. Let's sell all of them. How many was there? Like, let's just try and sell. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're gonna have enough for like a decent house. Jesus. Where is this money coming from? How much do we have? The 61? No way. What? That's insane. How much do we get off the straw? Oh my God, we're gonna have like a proper big house. We've got more than a normal starting amount. Okay, so that 80 of those. How many do we get for the onions? 2,000? Okay, we don't wanna sell the plants. Don't, don't sell the plants. No, don't do that. 29,720. Okay, all right. I mean, fair, all right. Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. We can literally go into the gallery and get ourselves a start home. Let's do that. <laughs> like, that's insane. We can have like a nice, but we can have this. Like, that's insane. Sure. Sure, let's do it. Like, oh my God. We've still got 10,000, like that's insane. Look how cute this is. That's adorable. Right, well that's, I did not think we would be doing all of this in this one episode. Let's get rid of this wall here and then we can um, keep a little bit of that money. I love that fireplace. This house is super cute. I didn't even have to look. <laughs> I did not think we would be getting this far in this one episode, that's insane. Oh my god. Okay, well, <laughs> that's insane. Um, right, let's just chuck a few lights in. Uh, I'll just quickly speed up me furnishing this a bit so then you guys don't get bored. Okay, so I've just kind of added a few basic furnishings to our house. It's a lot bigger than I ever expected to be having in the second episode. I'm quite shocked actually. I didn't think that our crops would bring us that much money, but here we are. I will put the crops back up and I will try and furnish this house a little bit better for the next episode. I'll do a little bit of foraging off camera and everything like that and try and like decorate a little bit nicer. But for now, damn like this is pretty impressive i have no idea what to do with this room maybe we can turn this into like the kids bedrooms when we do have kids uh but for now this is what it looks like we're just using this as a little skills room for now we even have a computer and a tv like that's impressive honestly i'm i'm chuffed i'm amazed um i guess i can kind of just wrap this video up here since something eventful actually happened already yeah i'm really happy I hope you enjoyed this video and please do comment down below any suggestions for the next one. I know I said that we would try and get her to talk to Freddy in this video, but since that didn't work out, we're not gonna force it yet. Hopefully he rings us up and talks to us later. But for now, here is the house. Absolutely amazed at what we managed to achieve in this one video just via those crops. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, here we are. See you in the next one and thank you guys ever so much for watching. Bye guys.